Okay, these two problems, four and five, are just writing the expressions, which we talked about. So let's just think about it. Lorena, Lorena, Zaya, and Jasmine opened a store selling jewelry. There are eight plus four customers on Monday and four X minus seven customers on Tuesday. What is the total number of customers on the two days? So total number means add. So I'm going to put 8x plus 4, that's Monday, and that's a plus, 4x minus 7. So that's our expression, which means I don't have to do distributive because there's no parentheses. Step 2 is to move them with the commutative. So 1 distribute, 2 commute. And three, associate. So there's no distributive, so it's done. Commute, that means I'm going to move 8x to the 4x together. Then I'm moving the 4 and the negative 7. So I'll put these two together. I get 12x. I put these two together. I have a positive 4 and a negative 7. So the team that won is the negative team by three points. This is our final answer. That's all they want. Number five, um, they're talking about Oscar, Tristan, Ian, and Jonathan going to the store and buying cereal. Jonathan and Ian bought seven boxes of cereal, B, and spent fourteen twenty one on other groceries. Tristan bought four boxes of cereal B and spent eleven eighty on other groceries. How much more did Jonathan and Ian spend before or than Oscar and Jonathan? So we don't know how much the cost is for the cereal, but it's the same cereal. So we're gonna call it cost a C. Okay? So, Jonathan and Ian bought seven boxes paying C for each one. So, that's seven times C. And they bought $14.21. Oscar and Tristan bought four boxes of cereal, B, and spent eleven eighty dollars on other groceries. How much more did Jonathan and Ian spend than Oscar and Tristan? I have a feeling we need to find a difference, which would mean this number right there would be subtracted. So let's write this a different way. Let's write it slower to make sure that we get it. If you don't see the formulas, we bought B, B, B plus B plus B plus B plus B plus B plus B. So this comes from the seven boxes of cereal right here. Seven boxes of cereal B, correct? And then the other group bought four boxes. One, two, three, four. Now, I can figure out how much more one paid than the other using that because there's three left over. This is seven Bs minus four Bs, which means I have three Bs. I'm showing it a different way um, because it's how I want to do it. Um, you may do it a different way, which is totally fine. Um, but I recognize that they spent, they bought three more boxes of cereal, so that is definitely a cost that is more. But they also, there's a difference between this number that they spent and this number that they spent. So that means this other group, go to the right place, spent 1421, but the other group did less than that. So I have to subtract them. That's one, three, four, 
$2.41, okay? Now, what you do with these two numbers is they paid this much more for cereal. And we're going to pretend like this is our little cereal box, okay? Three more boxes of cereal. And they spent this much extra money. That's just cash. I don't know how to make a dollar sign. So that is one way to do it. Your final solution would be right here. I want to make sure that that kind of matches what the book says or the test has. Yeah, so what the book is going to want is this final product. Now, if that is not the way that you see it, that is okay. Maybe you see it as 7B plus $14.21 is the first group, right? The difference between that group and the four boxes of cereal and the 1180 is also the same way to do it. So you can do it that way, you can do it the other way. It doesn't matter, there are two different ways to do it. If you do it the way that I have written it in black, the catch will be this negative sign right here, this negative has to be distributed to both of these because there's a one here. So that's why I showed it that way. Um, so this would turn into 7B plus $14.21 this negative turns this 4B into negative 4B because I'm finding the difference. And this negative also turns the $11.80 into a negative. Realistically, if you go over here and you look, it's the same thing I did. I did 7B minus 4B. I did 14 minus 1180. So it ends up being the same thing. I'm going to rearrange this, 7B minus 4B, and then 14, 21 minus 1180. And since I already did that work over there, when I combine these two, I get 3B. When I combine these two, I get $2.41. They come out to the same answer. I just want to show you two different ways that your brain may think about it. Your brain might find a third way, but that's the way my brain went. <laughs>